Why are some eyeshadows more twinkly than other eyeshadows? This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics eyeshadow for $6, and this one on top is the Urban Decay. I'm seeing some people compare e.l.f. to Patrick Ta, and these are not the same technology. This is a slurry, but these both, the Urban Decay and the e.l.f., are pressed powders. As you can see, they are nowhere near dupes because e.l.f. is more of a shimmer, and Urban Decay just has that twinkly effect. And the answer all lies in the pigment particle size and shape. Some pigment shapes are more jagged, and some are more spherical, and as you can imagine, the spherical pigments roll over each other better, so they lay down a little bit differently than something that's more jagged. And keep in mind, it's also about how all the other pigments are laying down on top of each other. So as you're laying down this eyeshadow from Urban Decay, the pigments roll over each other and kind of give this scattered light effect versus the e.l.f. one gives more of a tighter shimmer effect. And it goes without saying, this is $25 for a reason. The technology is a little bit different. Now I want to emphasize, I really like the e.l.f. eyeshadow. I think for $6, you're getting a beautiful eyeshadow and I love wearing this. And this is the Urban Decay side. They're not but I do think they're both worth it for their price points. 